Hello and welcome back to Real Talks. Today we're going to be talking about general stores and why they are not working anymore and what you should create instead. The fact that general stores don't work anymore is not an assumption, but it's based on data and actual facts. Therefore, I'm going to show you exactly how to transition your mindset from general stores and what kind of stores are really working well in 2021 and beyond. So my name is Mel. Um, I am one of the rotating hosts of Real Talks and I've been with Oberlo and Shopify for just over two years. And I have a background in marketing, influencer marketing and content creation. So I'm super happy to join you guys on these YouTube videos. So as mentioned today, I'm going to talk extensively on why general dropshipping stores are not working anymore and what sort of store you should create instead. Also, I'm going to give you all the pros and cons of general stores and why exactly these are not going to work for you if you are just starting out in your dropshipping journey. Moreover, if you want to get help from us, make sure to go to your Oberlo app and click on the support button in bottom right. Now, this is where you have to make sure to use the Real Talk hashtag in your message and just write your question where you need help from us. Again, just make sure to use the Real Talk hashtag in your message itself so it won't get lost in our inbox and we'll put it into our dedicated box so our team will be able to help you with your business growth related questions. So without further ado, let's just jump right in. So what is a general store? Well, as you probably understand by its name, a general store is just a store that has a ton of different products and you can have products ranging from coffee mugs to shoes, clothing, jewelry, anything. So there's basically no set specific niche. The pros of a general store. Number one, it's flexible to start. General shipping stores can easily be started because they're flexible and don't require you to focus on a single niche. One benefit of general is that you can make a list of the most trending products in all niches and add them to your store to test. Number two, test multiple products at once. Another benefit of using general dropshipping stores is that you can test multiple dropshipping products at once. Just add the products that you would like covered and promote them through Facebook and Google Shopping. And now the cons of a general store. So there is intense competition. There's no particular niche market in this case. Most likely you will have dozens of indirect competitors whose product offer is partly similar to yours and a couple of direct competitors, let's say Amazon and eBay, that are nearly impossible to compete with, at least at the beginning stage. Number two, marketing is really hard. It's really hard to not only brand the store correctly, i.e. create custom content for all of your products and make your product images somewhat similar, but also your advertising efforts might give you higher costs since you will constantly be testing new audiences and new creatives, and that might take a lot of time. And of course, money, it's not good. Number three, you don't know what to focus on. Many beginners are unsure what they should do at the beginning of their dropshipping journey. But with the general store, it's possible to get even more confused. With no previous experience in this business area, it's easy to get overwhelmed with the unstructured and segmentary data with your store. So why should you not start a general dropshipping store? mainly because customers are already well aware of how dropshipping stores look and what general stores are selling. It's nearly impossible to make a beautiful branded general store since you will have tons of different products. And this is the biggest reason why we are not recommending you to start a general store. In 2021 and beyond, your store should have proper branding, such as a nice logo, clean color palette, custom product photos and videos, as well as unique product descriptions. It is not going to be possible to have all of those if you're just starting out and you will need to deal with hundreds of products. So this also goes to say that when you're marketing, if a customer goes to your store and they see that you're not only selling sunglasses, but you're selling shoes, you're selling electronics, you're selling kitchen accessories, and they're looking for specifically sunglasses, why would they purchase from a general store when they could purchase from a sunglass niche store, which those stores seem to have a specialization in sunglasses. And therefore that store has a lot more trust built with their customer. So you can't have that same branding and trust with a general store. Now, what is a niche or one product store? So this is something we talked about in 
one of our last Real Talk videos. You can go back and check that out if you'd like. But first and foremost, let's combine niche store and one product stores into one since it's going to be easier and define the pros and cons of niche versus general store. And niche or one product store is completely different than a general store since you'll be selling either only one product or a couple of products in your store that is related to a specific niche. For example, products to men grooming, niche boutique women dresses, jewelry, or pet products. You might already start to understand why our video title has a bold statement on why general stores are not working. And let me drill down a couple of pros and cons of starting a niche store. So the pros of a niche store, it's easier management. In comparison with a general store, a niche store is a much less resource consuming venture. Here, you're creating a nice little store that is branded around one or a couple of products. We recommend having 10 products at the very, very max and not building a store that needs to have hundreds of unrelated products. This gives you an advantage since it's going to be easier to actually start working on your store and not procrastinate. Number two, a well-defined product range. Knowing what is trending and popular in this particular niche, you get a great opportunity to only fill your store with demanded items that will be bought often. Or if you want, you can combine trending products with something that you really love doing and have only these items in your store. It's so much easier. Number three, smaller competition. Yes, with a niche or one product store, you'll have less competition because you're not competing with stores that sell everything. This way you get a chance to establish yourself as a one of a kind store offering something that is difficult to buy from other sellers. Number four, easier branding and marketing. It's so much easier to create a great brand and marketing strategy for a store that is selling niche related products. Now you can create a great logo, have all of your product images, the same background, style or whatever. In fact, you can create your own color palette and have it shown as an actual brand. Furthermore, it's so much easier to create unique content for your store and ads, i.e. shoot some videos showing the product or take some photos, create some TikTok ads. You don't need to do this for hundreds of products, only one or a couple of them, and it's so much more fun. Number five, higher conversion rates. Yes, your conversion rates will be higher since your visitors will instantly see that this store acts as a brand and establishes themselves as a company that is only selling this sort of niche product. This gives you a chance to see higher conversion rates and even increase your product prices because you are not competing with a lot of stores. So this is what I was talking about earlier, that if you have a specialization, so to speak, you gain a lot more trust with your customers. Number six, easier upselling. Finally, you can have one product store, but in addition to that important, another product that would complement that product. This will be your upsell and you will have a chance to offer a product that is related to that original product. You will increase your average order value and have more breathing room with your ads as well. Now let's talk about the cons of a niche store. So they're harder to get started. Yes, this might seem the most significant disadvantage of a niche business, with a niche store, you really need to understand what you're selling and who you're targeting to. But it won't be a problem if you know this niche fairly well. In this case, you either already know the most crucial aspects that characterize this business segment, or you have an idea where to hunt for the relevant information. Number two, you test one product or niche at a time. It might seem that contrary, contrary excuse me, to a general store, a niche store doesn't have a backup plan to try if the selected product doesn't see much demand. This is not entirely true. If you notice that this particular niche doesn't bring you as much profit as you wanted, you can slightly change your business direction and fill your store with products that are loosely related to the initial choice. So why niche store over a general store? I think all of the points really tell a lot why you don't want to have a general store. So one of the biggest things that we see today is the fact that a lot of people want to start drop shipping, but they think that they'll need to import a ton of products to their store. They will need to deal with multiple suppliers, design their store, and worry about different shipping methods and times. With a niche or one product store, you are only worried about one or a couple of products, which makes it so much easier to actually see that first sale coming into your store. So that is it for the topic of why general stores do not work in 2021. So to finish off the video, we always like to provide you with a hot tip and a toolbox. So my hot tip is to always order your products to test them out. This way you can test the delivery speed, the shipping, the product itself, whether it's high quality or not, and you can test out the supplier 
And you can also, most importantly, create your own content. So you can create your own product images so that they are all cohesive and beautiful. You can create ads. You can create TikTok content, Facebook content. You can create all your own marketing material to separate you from all your competitors. So this is a must when you have a one product store. And if you have a niche store, you can do this with just a couple of your products. Now to snowball off of that, a tool that you can use from the toolbox is the Splice app. So this is an app you can download to your iPhone, your Android, your iPad, and you can just edit your videos right there. You don't have to use any fancy editing software on a computer or anything like that. You can edit all your content for videos right within that little app. And they do have a totally free plan. And then they do have a paid plan, which is pretty good. You can test it out on the trial and see if you want to pay for it. And it's a great app when you're just starting out creating your own video content. So that is it for today. Leave a comment in the chat in, or in the video description. What did you like? What can we do better? Also, make sure to let us know whether you have any ideas on what you would like to learn from us. What topic would you like to see us do next? Furthermore, please make sure to contact us via the Overlo app with the hashtag of RealTalk and your questions where you need help and our team will be able to help you ASAP. See you next week. Thanks for joining us, guys.